Ladies and gentlemen, if you want the cheese without the babble, there you go. Invest whatever the hell it is, is at 70% chance of development over the next 48 hours and five days. Plus, this one here that everybody is swearing is no danger to any human beings on the planet, which I actually disagree with, by the way, is that a chance of 40% in the next 48 hours or 50% in the next five days. And why I disagree is I think this thing could sucker punch worst case near Boston or definitely Nova Scotia. But I guess we don't really care about anything outside of America or technically anything below Florida, which is why we've done nothing to respond to Puerto Rico except for find political reasons to give them the short end of the stick, even though their military recruitment levels since World War I have been extremely high, higher than most states. But since we don't take care of our veterans, no matter what state they're from, when it comes to their health care, we give them the short end of the stick, and we're the country that is like, hey, tax cuts for corporations don't even pay damn taxes. Yeah, I'm kind of grumpy. Why? Because... If this thing does become a hurricane, which a lot of people are saying they're pretty sure it's going to become a tropical storm at the very minimum, it looks like it could plow right into Puerto Rico. So as your planetary defense commander, I feel like I've kind of failed because we've done absolutely zip shit to improve since last season. And we are more mired in 100% of the nation, 90% of the nation, being focused on politics 100% of the time. So it's like people are just going to complain about politics and then in November they're going to vote and they're going to complain about politics and then two years later they're going to vote. Like that's the whole plan. That's the American plan, man. You know? So I have to steal my heart against the system that is right now. So yeah, dude. Right now we got two systems that could possibly become tropical storms or hurricanes. Then you got Fabio saying, hey, look at me. Hey, look at me. I'm scaring all the fish. That's what I'm doing. I just scared a sperm whale. Like, whoa, TMI, Fabio. TMI. Yep. And, you know, the situation is weird. This is the system we're watching. And, you know, being a Norse Jedi Christian, I use symbols sometimes or the images to interpret the data. And it look, keeps looking like a weird, creepy spider crab scorpion type thingy. So, that is an extra reason to pay attention to it. We got flooding here in Houston, but as fast as we flood, it, we also usually unflood pretty fast. So, my street is no longer flooded. And so, let the partying plans commence. Though I have no party plans, I'll probably be here making a video. Though, I, I think I need a break. I, I should probably have fun somewhere in the future. We got this thing that is nothing, but it's weird because it looks like as the wind shear strips off its cloud tops, it looks to try and connect with the thing that is at 50% chance of development over the next 48 hours. What does that mean? Probably nothing. Maybe nothing. Who knows? And so... Before, <clears throat> when this system gets to here, it's supposed to encounter a whole lot of wind shear. But, you know, I don't know. Overall, honestly, my prediction is hurricane season might start to get really interesting around the 12th or the 17th after the first partial eclipse. But then definitely after the 27th of July, it will get really weird. And I think we're going to see a chain of hurricanes where we might see just a guess. One after another after another. Remember when we saw four nor'easters in the northeast? Well, we might see two or three hurricanes one after another. Because Mother Nature seems to follow a pattern for a while before she changes it. And so as you can see, the majority of the waters, especially like, let's say, are at about... 80, 81 degrees. Hurricanes usually need about 80 to develop and strengthen and tighten 
I guess while they're undeveloped, they do kegels. Uh, was that a good joke? So, I'm staying on top of it for you while everybody's partying, having a good time, enjoying family and friends. And, look, 70%. 70%. It's red now, bro. We're in the red X. So, I don't know. I was really paying attention. I want to remind you, one of the videos I did on the dead peasants insurance where corporations literally can take out an insurance policy on a $20,000 employee. So... If, like, let's say they have 15, they do have 15,000 employees, Walmart in Puerto Rico. If a Cat 3 hurricane were to come and just finish them off, a company like Walmart would stand to gain $5 billion just by having 15,000 people die. So we gave those same corporations tax cuts so they could invest that money in dead peasants insurance, buddy. So when the hurricanes start killing people in mass, they will cha-ching. Yay. Sorry. Didn't I say in the beginning I was kind of in a bad mood? So yeah, we will keep our eye on the situations. Um, apparently there's some flooding going on in Pennsylvania, Iowa as well. So, and, and like I said, two of the systems predicted getting to hurricane status. Um, and... There seem to have been a lot of variables in almost all things these days. And if you'll notice here, for the next 48 hours, it keeps almost the whole coast from Canada to Florida to Texas under some type of rain. And that ground is as saturated as it is already. And that sentence was sucky. If I was in third grade, my teacher would probably give me a D minus. And I forgot how I screwed it up, but I know that it did. I just felt it in my heart. It was like a giant spike of disappointment in my cell hit me. It was like, man, you just spoke out of wordage and screwed up and looked dumb in front of people who were listening. I was like, okay, I've done that before. I think I lived. We were on the descending part of the storm. I saw it get to 35,000 lightning strikes, so we're at 25,000 now. But we still have a pretty wide lightning field. And I always recommend <clears throat> SpaghettiModels.com. I don't always recommend, but I need to do it more because we're getting into hurricane season and you be able to do, you need to be able to do your own due diligence. How's that sound? Um, because don't rely on other people to make your decisions. Use a large swath of data to make your own decision. You can include me in that data though. If you want, baby, whatever. Never gonna flirt again. Have I ever flirted? Now I'm not even making any sense. There's nobody here. What? God, I've gone crazy. All work and no play makes Thor cranky. I wonder if this is our cranky guy got that way. See, yeah, there are some semi warm temperatures. <clears throat> I'm sorry to keep clearing my throat on the microphone. I mean, look at look at this one's trucking, dude. Although it gets finally gets ripped shreds, but it was it was like wind. You won't defeat me. Hell no, hell no. I will make it. And then wind's like, uh uh, boom. I throw you to spaghetti and threw you against the wall to see what would stick. And none of you stuck, or whatever. But yeah, here's our monster down here. I'm sure there's some scientists and meteorologists like it's not an actual monster. It's just a low pressure disturbance in the Atlantic by Africa. To wave. <sighs> Alright. Anything else interesting? But yeah, like I said, this, this track looks to be taking it straight to Puerto Rico. And so, I don't know how many days they have. Four or five? So Puerto Rico, even if it craps out, it's going to bring a whole lot. It looks like it could bring a whole lot of rain. So, you know, I have to point the finger at myself and say what could I have done better to prepare people for this hurricane season because I'm definitely not ready to be losing lives over this especially as everybody stands around arguing um all right maybe it's time for me to make that doom video oh get to it all right I'll, I'll try and be in a better mood next time anyway I love you guys I appreciate you guys you guys are incredible I want you to have a Incredible 4th of July. Thank you to all the soldiers 
out there who have kept us in some form of freedom and it's too bad that the public continues to get hornswoggled by the tricks of drama that both sides of political discourse are meant to divide and conquer us with. I can't wait till I get my sense of humor back. That'll be great. Oh, uh, but yeah, see the retrograding system. This is still pushing in as this is still pushing out. Okay. Anyway, talk to you guys soon. The main point of this whole thing was 70% chance development, possible hurricane. And yeah, I'm pretty sure it'll be a tropical storm by tomorrow morning. Would be my guess. And then, that's 50% chance of development. And I don't want to get into, this is not politics, it's just general bullshit, but I don't know, man. <clears throat> a lady, kind of a Statue of Liberty, will probably soak up like 80% of the news. Whereas Puerto Rico, which Puerto Rico, they're American. They're not a state, they're a colony. So it's kind of like, I guess we look, we, they're like the house elves in Harry Potter. And I cried when Dobby died. Okay? So, I don't know. It's amazing to watch the the lower class, the middle class, and the lower upper class tear each other to shreds while the trillionaires get more trillionary. You know? What can I do better? 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 I can I can thank you guys better. I can, I hope I really do appreciate y'all. Thank y'all very much. But in this relationship, some days I'm going to be in a bad mood. Some days I'm going to be in a good mood. Some days I'm going to be right down the middle. And some days I'm just going to be too sad. I'm going to be laying face down and saying, oh, God, why? But, you know, I, I, probably not too many of those days. Okay. Peace out. Stay cool.